The first simple machine is a wheel and axle. The purpose of it is to reduce friction, increase speed, and increase force. It helps the car move forward at a constant speed. The second simple machine is a lever. It helps lift something heavy or make something go fast. It pulls the string from the, from the drive axle and makes the wheels move. Newton's first law states that an object at motion tends to stay in motion until acted upon an unbalanced force. The wheel and axle are a good example of this because the wheel wants to stay in motion, but friction and gravity is making it stop. Newton's second law states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force applied yeah, and inversely proportional. It's the tape and it's the tape and <laughs> Literally, the mousetrap itself was coming off of. With I apologize. <laughs> Newton's second law states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force applied and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Because the yes. wheel and ax axles are lightweight, they will gain speed faster, which makes it gain for better distance. Newton's third law states that for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. The lever on the car pulls the string backwards, which makes the car go forwards. One helpful force is tension. This helped the car move by having the lever pull onto the string which was tightly fastened to the drive axle. This made the car move forward. Another helpful force was the spring. This helped the mouse trap snap the lever making the car roll forward. One problem force is friction. Friction made the car slow down more. Another problem force was gravity. Gravity also made it difficult for the car to keep rolling but slowing it down.